Well, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, this is just a uh, <clears throat> seven-inch uh, Makita grinder, and uh, I got the uh, stock guard right here, as you can see. Um, I've been doing a mix of like concrete cutting, and now I'm going to be grinding. I got this uh, little foundation wall over here. I'm grinding away. You can see over here I've um, started grinding. But I just have a this section over here that I need to finish up. Anyway, um, with the water on, it was uh, keeping the dust under um, control for the most part. But I still wanted to um, keep the dust down. And the water was kind of getting flung all over the place. So step one uh, for this little dust guard was um, went to Home Depot and got some of this bristle uh, door sweep. And I I screwed it on in the end, and then I used I took the wheel cover off and used that to roll the roll this on the floor, um, and then I, I traced the the wheel cover right here, and um, I was able to get it almost perfect here. Um, I mean that, that's that's plenty good enough for this application. Um, just got a couple screws in around the wheel guard and then I then I just uh, hand cut this um, piece of galvanized sheet metal here and um, it just slides in there I'm thinking that I'll be able to crank up the water more and um, I'll really be able to uh, to uh, you know keep that dust under control now when I'm grinding for the rest of this so this silica dust is uh, you know, deadly, um, lead to silicosis. So just doing my best to, uh, to avoid it. I don't work with concrete very much. Um, but like I said, I've had this uh, project going for a couple of months now and want to finish it up. But anyway, that's it. Uh, simple little, uh, simple little, uh, dust shroud that, um, with a little bit of water control here, you know, this is just a, uh, one eighth NPT, um, uh, like pipe self tapping, uh, fitting that you can get at Home Depot or any plumbing supply shop. And, uh, it's pretty easy to drill that on there. Normally when I do concrete cutting with this, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but, uh, I usually attach it right here. Um, so that it's pointing at my, uh, my cutting blade, but with the dust shroud, um, needed to be back here so probably have a follow-up video with uh my wife filming me um grinding so you can get a feel for uh how much uh how much dust is involved but uh or you know how this does with keeping the dust down so anyway that's it i think this cost me like eight or ten bucks um obviously the water line but i had some of that laying around the bristle threshold cost me about 10 bucks and then I had this line around of course I've had these uh these screws here so um and I used uh I just used some uh, sheet metal screws here and uh drilled a 1 8 inch uh hole for all the screws so bent these little tabs down and it seems to keep this pretty rigid I don't think I need to screw anything in here this is all pretty uh pretty solid so can't really bend it very well but um i may have to put a few uh few screws in here but i think it, right now i'm just going to try it with uh without it so that's it i'll be posting a follow-up video soon and the way i cut this um i can still adjust this if i need to but um i don't i don't think i'll have to i think it's uh i think it's um good like this especially when you're grinding um you know it doesn't really matter what uh you know what direction this thing pointed what angle so that's it